This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. The other goes home a loser! Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me! Hey, Listen to Derek me. Thackeray, don't shit on no one! But, uh, I do like to piss on my seat and, uh, my seat too not really on it so stay out of the way <laughs> well, tell me the fight game that ain't rigged is it of course not hey how could anything professional be fake <laughs> hey there's too much money at stake for one thing i mean these guys got too much to lose i mean why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp be serious for a minute the clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. I'm wearing a black dress on. I'm and this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. You have any idea what I'm doing? Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. And this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man, says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank Time. Thank you, thing. thank you. But many say your new film has got gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. Yeah. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got it shot yourself. Way to go. Oh, and you look at He was finally back. beginning to live a normal life. Then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on. Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. That's Flynn, even though he's a, he's a guy. Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. 
Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offensive? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there. And I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you gonna do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this! The family killer! Jack, Jack, put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on! It's not serious! Oh, but you're Billy Dexter! Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. Sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Uh, They're still big. Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mom. Easy. Hey. Don't <laughs> grab them like that. Oh, boy. I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I. I crap myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder what if. Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it. His brain is leaking. Help. Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. You want to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Explosion is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my Dutch vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. 
People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. I mean, people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one. Come on, call up. Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery, or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the Glory Holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How could it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in Verdant Bluffs. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle, and there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Abrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something, but it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties? Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Scoogey Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Podiston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. That was funny. This don't, is don't tell me. CTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forge, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool, the sickening shortage, and shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. Plus, the Epsilon Tract, a psychotic underground power-hungry cult running the government and Vinewood, or an idea whose time has come. The WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my invisible friends. When I was a kid, my mother told me to be good, or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying living along to my children, like a virus. 
Also, police are investigating the murder of Liberty City crime family, the Sindacos, whose bodies were found in a meat factory in Las Venturas. Could this be the start of a mafia war, or was it a sick game gone hideously wrong? Either way, America's beef producers say it will all blow over. Los Santos police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski are being sought by government officials in order to stand trial for the murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury. The pair, whom prosecutors claim have masterminded a huge criminal organization, have disappeared. LSPD spokespeople said they were undercover. Las Venturas was recently celebrating the opening of the Four Dragons Casino, a huge new pleasure palace with a Chinese feel, setting a new level of optimistic debauchery for the country. Richard reports from Venturas where the Four Dragons hosted the Child Actor Convention. What do you have to fuck to get a free drink in this place? How do you stay 14 when the deal is showing 12, you moron? Yeah, hit me. Richard. Leanne, as you know, actors are a shallow and insecure lot, often uncomfortable with their sexuality. But what's worse are child actors, especially when they get together. Jimmy from the canceled sitcom Just the Five of Us was dragged out by police earlier today. This is bullshit! Hey, don't arrest my bitches! I am a star! It's just flowers, Jimmy, I swear! Jimmy, I'm Richard Burns, WCTR News. What do you think of My Five Uncles, the show that replaced yours? What do you think, dumbass? That show sucks my ass. And why do you still look like a kid? I'm 51 years old! I just look like a kid! I'm gonna cock punch you! Ugh. Oh. Hey, how do you like that, you liberal media bastard? Richard Burns, WCTR News. Back to you, Leanne. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. I wouldn't sleep if I were you. Gonna do my show. Good the tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coffee. in your cab. Get out of my cab. I don't want washed up celebrities in my cab. Oh, washed up? Dude, I'm doing a new show. See you in hell, buddy. There are aliens living in the state. Aliens. And I've held them in my own hand. Everybody, go to the desert. Beg their forgiveness. How do you know all this? I went to the camp. Believe what you want to believe, but ask yourself, why should I make this up? All right, this is the Laszlo Show. The station is called Integrity. Uh, I should Killing mention concoction that we're... of codeine, morphine, and alcohol. Your cold will be history. How's your cold now? Who the hell are you? I'm your wife, fool. Soothe kills a cough fast. And for the kid's chesty cough, it's soon junior. By the medication. I'm going to take a quick break. This is the Laszlo Show on Integrity. Ever wonder why I don't exercise? I don't care. A wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first caller. Totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Columbia. It's a blizzard of excitement. Jesus. Rails of great and long. <laughs> Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next call. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the war came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I'm listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up crime families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, schmain forest. In Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. 
I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep harder. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find in a piece. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers in their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people being forced from their homes by war or famine. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Let's call her. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedeeston and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. This weekend on Weasel. Wait, look at the size of that thing, ladies and gentlemen. There's the real world, and then there's ours. My God! Thunder Beast is out of the ring, and he stabbed Dr. Diablo with his Seacrop Serpent. That's a triple roundhouse hell Joseph gravel smash. You don't see that very often. And there is man. And one must fight for the intergalactic wrestling title this weekend. You can't run, Everfest! WCTR News. Unfair and skewed for you. In the top stories, everyone is trying to kill you, but at least you're not in prison yet. Disgraced movie star Jack Howitzer. The country's best stay still. Can it get any better? Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Can it get any bigger? Ready, gonna buy. I'm Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is now. I'm gonna come to bigger now. Ipa papalit mo ba ba? Umaat mo sa siya. Arat sumama na. Ito ang Chicken Joy. It's yeah. the best tasting. Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Ito ang Chicken Joy. Yes, best tasting na. Our biggest buy. to a new adventure with every Happy Meal. Starts at 96 pesos. Ang maliit na aray, di maliit na bagay. Pag walang tigil ang laban. Pag binaliwala ang aray. Baka lumala at di ka na makasabay. Balik agad sa laban. Alaksan iparagad. May doble galing ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Diritso sa pinagmula ng sakit. Laban lang mandirigma. Sa maliit o malaking aray, alaksan if aragad. Alagang Unilab yan. Budget-friendly meal ba? Magsulit sarap, spicy garlic, baksilog na. 
Hindi daw kayo marunong magluto. Nako, you're so correct. Pero kaya natin to kasi madali lang po yung lulutuin natin ngayon. Let's go! Low heat lang po tayo. Meron tayong mantika dito. I-crack natin siya directly doon sa mantika. Ikot-ikot lang. Lahatin na natin yung oil na natira. Yung garlic, ilagay na po natin. Doon tayo sa bacon natin. Now, we put the bacon doon sa pan. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating Nordic Fujisering Chili para papatak sa rubs. May may kita kayong uh, orange po dyan. Cheese po yun. At ilagay natin dito sa ating uh, bacon. So, nagmukha na po ba siyang bacon na may cheese sauce dito sa small? Yes. Now, we plate. And finally, Tita Small, kailangan natin ng nor liquid scissoring chili. Wow! Wow! Mm -hmm. It's so really masarap. Hindi ko in-explore na ganito kasarap. If you know, you nor. Pasko na! Oras na para mag-magic! Ano man ang handaan, all in one ang kailangan. Maggie Magic Sarap. All in one sa sanggap. Pampasarap! Ano mang handa ngayong Pasko? Going magical! WCTR News, unfair and skewed for you. In the top stories, everyone is trying to kill you, but at least you're not in prison yet. Disgraced movie star Jack Howitzer broke his silence recently following his on-air murder of radio host Billy Dexter. Facing trial and a possible death sentence, Howitzer spoke to Richard. WCTR would like to be clear, we did pay for this interview. That's right, Leanne. I am Richard Burns here in Los Santos Prison. As we all know, since politicians stopped musicians from coming here to sing songs about shooting your woman on drugs, everyone is now questioning their sexuality. Jack Howitzer, you're facing a death sentence. How do you feel about that? I broke out of a POW camp in Korea, all right? So I'll be out of here soon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was a movie and it wasn't real. Oh, no, it was real. I'm a veteran of over 40 films, but I've got a different Ho Chi now. Say hello to the newsman, Ho Chi. Um, hello. You want me to kill you like the last Ho Chi? Say it like an Asian girl. Uh, hello. Hi. Wow, Jack Howitzer. That is a fine prison bitch. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> Richard Burns, WCTR News. The trial of allegedly disgraced police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski began yesterday. Although Mr. Pulaski was not at court personally, prosecutors maintain both are guilty of murder, racketeering, drug running, and sexual offenses. Defense maintained officers were just doing their job. Government officials are denying any knowledge of black helicopters that were recently seen flying over the state. Black helicopters? <laughs> What black helicopters? That clears it up. A Las Venturas institution, Caligula's, forced to admit that it was recently robbed. It's the first major heist carried out on a Venturas casino in 30 years. Government officials are not ruling out foul play. Meanwhile, no explanation has been forthcoming as to why the Sherman Dam stopped generating electricity for a few hours recently. One bystander blamed aliens who drink electricity before deflowering virgins. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. It's going to get worse. But Trust I don't me. go spilling it on the streets like this to a hot dog guy. Right? I know this is quite a struggle uh, being a hot dog vendor, living 18 people to one of those tiny rooms and no, Mr. having Lisa, to... Hey, hey, hey. Why? The day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. I love to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy, my wife, and I love your show. It really helps. Aw, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my daughter's sweetheart. Could I went wrong? He's become a drunk and he has a substance. And now he beats me every day. Stay with me, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. Why do you keep threatening to kill me? Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Careful, Aunt Mary. I'm watching you right now. Primitive. You know, I wonder what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watch my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, lonely hearts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out you know, that I could help out some of y'all clients. You know, this is none other than Jesse, your back. the pride to uh, the Pleasure Domes Club. If anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be lonely. You understand? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with power. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem and they need to pick me up, they need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls, you know what I'm saying? They gonna keep me company, have you feeling good. And this goes for everybody. I don't care who you are, how old you are. So come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely. And I'm gonna tell you something. You won't be lonely from the moment you walk in the door because somebody 
Good grief! That's not the way lonely hearts works at all! Is anyone here suffering? I want pain, misery, desolation, all the important things. Hi, this is Tamara. I'm a stalker. Ah, oh, that's really beautiful. Tell everyone about it. My man, well, I call him that, even though he's broken off all contact and is married to someone else. I killed a gazelle and sent its heart to him in an envelope. He liked it so much, he told the police and even the newspapers. Then I burnt down his place of business, and now I have a special surprise for him. Oh, you have a great week. Isn't that really beautiful? That's all we have time for. If your heart is lonely, listen to other losers, and you won't be lonely anymore. You'll want to spend the rest of your life in isolation, away from people, which is progress after all. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed Lonely Hearts. It's always fun to laugh at other people's misery, isn't it? The news and all the other things that really matter to you. Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. And this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time you, day. thank you. But many say your new film has gone gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Cool. Oh, you got it! shot yourself. Way to go! Oh, and you look at he was finally back. beginning to live a normal life. Then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country! Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches! That's Flynn, even though he's a, he's a god, you know? Special you just... needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offensive? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're 
just a little out of touch. Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Hey, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, uh, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. Sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Uh, They're still big. Oh. Uh, they're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah, mom, Easy, mommy. hey. Don't grab him like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, <laughs> I, I, I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder, what if? Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up, come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Explosion is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to... I'm James Badiston, world traveler. This is the Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Carrying vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste a wonderful German's wurst. The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red on the city of Thailand, as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely The war is The war is falling. We can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. I'm part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Ford was. We're all fighting inside to a wild creature nature. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first tour. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. Holy shit. Those things are visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes. Fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Columbia. It's a blizzard of excitement. And cheap? The rails are great! And long. Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out that the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl! For days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine calling from Casa City. 
is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents don't let kids know where after college. With ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slip out in a dirty imposter, but can be no as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree. Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the war came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about travel. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up fine families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the contents of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or beat disease. I'm sure that some of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with big guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next, Egan's happy ending. Very spiritual. You look like awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or Famine or on, whatever. Man, Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacations. San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even... Budget-friendly meal ba? Magsulit sarap, spicy garlic, baksilog na. Hindi daw kayo marunong magluto. Nako, you're so correct. Pero kaya natin to kasi madali lang po yung lulutuin natin ngayon. Let's go! Low heat lang po tayo. Meron tayong mantika dito. I-crack natin siya directly doon sa mantika. Ikot-ikot lang. Lahatin na natin yung oil na natira. Yung garlic, ilagay na po natin. Doon tayo sa bacon natin. Now, we put the bacon doon sa pan. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating Nordic Fujisering Chili para papatak sa rubs. May may kita kayong uh, orange po dyan. Cheese po yun. At ilagay natin dito sa ating uh, bacon. So, nagmukha na po ba siyang bacon na may cheese sauce dito sa small? Yes. Now, we plate. And finally, dito small, kailangan natin ng Nordic Fujisering Chili. Wow! Oh! It's so really masarap. Hindi ko yung expect na ganito kasarap. If you know, you know her. to a new adventure with every Happy Meal. Starts at 96 pesos. Pasko na! Oras na para mag-magic! Ano man ang handaan, all-in-one ang kailangan. Maggie Magic Sarap. All-in-one sa sangkap. Pampasarap! Ano mang handa ngayong Pasko? Going magical! The country's best tasted. Can it get any better? Crispy, yes, juicy, yes! Can it get any bigger? Ready ka na ba? Ang Chicken Joy! Chicken Joy is now! Ang pinakamasarap, bigger na! Ipagpapalit mo pa ba? Umaabaw sa saya, lahat sumama na! Ito ang Chicken Joy! Yes! Ito ang best tasting, crispy, yes, juicy, yes! Ang maliit na aray, di maliit na bagay. Pag walang tigil ang laban. Pag binaliwala ang aray. Baka lumala, 
at di ka na makasabay. Balik agad sa laban, alaksan iparagad. May doble galing ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Diritso sa pinagmula ng sakit. Laban lang mandirigma. Sa maliit o malaking aray, alaksan iparagad. Alagang Unilab yan. Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy, Entertaining America. The deceit. Mm. This yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflam. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time you, day. thank you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Cool. Oh, you gone and shot yourself. Way to go! Oh, and you look at He was back. finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell. Breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. That's Flynn, even though he's a, he's a god, you know. You just... Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was... It was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Hey, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, uh, uh, um, Jack, Jack uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians 
is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. Sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Yeah. They're still big. Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Easy. Hey. Don't grab them like that. Oh, boy. I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I. I crap myself. <laughs> Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder what if. Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it. His brain is leaking. Help. Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. You want to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Explosion is hanging from the trees. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's... It's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing we go to the phones yes we do i can't believe you actually recommended we go to barbados on our honeymoon it was revolting there were poor people i live in vinewood to be away from poor people barbados is lovely look i want to be very clear i'm not racist just careful okay i like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want be around other people from san andreas and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. I mean, people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent turlet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex-wife's lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. Amorphophallus titanium. Holy, the sound of it gives work. me a redwood in my khakis. If I come back as a superhero, I want to be called that. It's Amorphophallus titanium, the rare botanical wonder. What the hell? His oh, shit, man. As he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my dear. Oh. Don't mark your territory. You should try it. Be on the front door of your office. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. 
Hello? Lisa? Yeah? How you doing, bitch? How do you like living in that house we built together, huh? Do our kids like punching that bald fat? Kiss you in the morning. They want their real father, Lisa. When you just can't be their first, Andrea's telephone. Difficult conversations. Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting, not depressing. This is Leanne Forget, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they? And why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Hollywood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I got everything I can do in a rap game. Once shit hands down, nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. I say shit. Oh, hey, man. It's cool. Ain't no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? Doing drinks. I got shoes, tires, rims. You think, you know, next stage is being a full-on superstar, you know? Troubled man sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. Mom! Josh just broke the vodka bottle on your nightstand! Chris did it! You little shits! I'll kill you! Raising a family in the suburbs is tough. Especially when you used to be a hip single woman on her own in a cool enclave of town. With today's stresses, it's difficult to maintain a loving, exploratory sex relationship with your husband and counter the temptations to kill your own children. I love my family. What can I do? Sometimes you need a helping hand. Send the right message about values and character. With Grin, Grin readjusts your brain chemistry in a completely safe way. I hate it. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phone. into a new adventure with every Happy Meal. Starts at 96 pesos. Pasko na! Oras na para magmagic! Ano man ang handaan, all in one ang kailangan. Maggie Magic Sarap. All in one sa sangkap. Pampasarap! Ano mang handa ngayong Pasko? Going magical! The country's best tasted. Can it get any better? Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Can it get any bigger? Ready ka na ba? Ang Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is na. Ang pinakamasarap, bigger na. Ipagpapalit mo ba ba? Umaapaw sa siya. Para at sumama na. Ito ang Chicken Joy. Yes, I love the best taste in crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Enjoy, 
ng maliit na aray, di maliit na bagay. Pag walang tigil ang laban, pag binaliwala ang aray, baka lumala at di ka na makasabay. Balik agad sa laban, alaksan iparagad. May doble galing ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Diritso sa pinagmula ng sakit. Laban lang mandirigma. Sa maliit o malaking aray, alaksan iparagad. Alagang Unilab yan. Budget-friendly meal ba? Magsulit sa wrap, spicy garlic, baksilog na. Hindi daw kayo marunong magluto. Nako, you're so correct. Pero kaya natin to kasi madali lang po ilulutuin natin ngayon. Let's go! Low heat lang po tayo. Meron tayong mantika dito. I-crack natin siya directly doon sa mantika. Ikot-ikot lang. Lahatin na natin yung oil na natira. Yung garlic, ilagay na po natin. Doon tayo sa bacon natin. Now, we put the bacon doon sa pan. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating Nordic Positioning Chili para papatak sa rubs. May may kita kayong uh, orange po dyan. Cheese po yun. At ilagay natin dito sa ating uh, bacon. So, nagbuka na po ba siyang bacon na may cheese sauce dito sa small? Yes. Now, we plate. And finally, tito small, kailangan natin ng Nordic Positioning Chili. Wow! It's so really masarap. Tingo yung expect na ganito ka sarap. If you know, you know. View CTR News. Unfair and skewed for you. In the top stories, everyone is trying to kill you, but at least you're not in prison yet. Disgraced movie star Jack Howitzer broke his silence recently following his on-air murder of radio host Billy Dexter. Facing trial and a possible death sentence, Howitzer spoke to Richard. WCTR would like to be clear. We did pay for this interview. That's right, Leanne. I am Richard Burns here in Los Santos Prison. As we all know, since politicians stopped musicians from coming here to sing songs about shooting your woman on drugs, everyone is now questioning their sexuality. Jack Howitzer, you're facing a death sentence. How do you feel about that? I broke out of a POW camp in Korea, all right? So I'll be out of here soon. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was a movie and it wasn't real. Oh, no, it was real. I'm a veteran of over 40 films, but I've got a different Ho Chi now. Say hello to the newsman, Ho Chi. Um, hello? Do you want me to kill you like the last Ho Chi? Say it like an Asian girl. Uh, hello, hi. Wow, Jack Howitzer. That is a fine prison bitch. Where can I get one of those? <laughs> Richard Burns, WCTR News. The trial of allegedly disgraced police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski began yesterday. Although Mr. Pulaski was not at court personally, prosecutors maintain both are guilty of murder, racketeering, drug running, and sexual offenses. Defense maintain officers were just doing their job. Government officials are denying any knowledge of black helicopters that were recently seen flying over the state. Black helicopters? <laughs> What black helicopters? That clears it up. A Las Venturas institution, Caligula's, forced to admit that it was recently robbed. It's the first major heist carried out on a Venturas casino in 30 years. Government officials are not ruling out foul play. Meanwhile, no explanation has been forthcoming as to why the Sherman Dam stopped generating electricity for a few hours recently. One bystander blamed aliens who drink electricity before deflowering virgins. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. It's going to get worse. But I don't go spilling it on the streets like this to a hot dog guy. Right? I know this is quite a struggle uh, being a hot dog vendor, living 18 people to one of those tiny rooms and no, Mr. having Mr. to... Hey, 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 why hey. Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit and this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to 
to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah, so your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank Time. Thank you, Day. thank you. But many say your new film has got too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim. The war is over. It's never over. You've seen him wipe out millions of Cambodians and exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you Tards has been running Peruvian Flake through the special ed school, and I'm going to find it. No juice and cookies! No, you suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got it shot yourself. Way to go. Oh, and you look at he was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on. Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. That's funny, even though he's a, he's a god, you know. You just Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, Syndrome. Get ten bucks off on machine gun rental. Hey, if you love your family, prove it with a gun. Ammunition protecting your rights. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. All through this sultry anonymity of the day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Or as I like to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy, my wife, and I love your show. It really helps. Aw, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phones? It's a big, lonely state out there. Keep on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude. My name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice. I mean, I get away with it all the time, though. Even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. I mean, the passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I'd put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. 
good. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yep. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. Sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Yeah. They're still yeah. big. Oh. God, they're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mom, Easy. Mommy. Hey, don't grab him like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder, what if? Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Yeah, explosion is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone. For those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler. Next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're up. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. 
yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew tobacco. We relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes. Smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Promise? The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got... Oras na para magmagic! Ano man ang handaan, all in one ang kailangan. Maggie Magic Sarap. All in one sa sangka. Pampasarap. Ano mang handa ngayong Pasko? Going magical. Ang maliit na aray, di maliit na bagay. Pag walang tigil ang laban. Pag binaliwala ang aray. Baka lumala at di ka na makasabay. Balik agad sa laban. Alaksan iparagad. May doble galing ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Diritso sa pinagmula ng sakit. Laban lang mandirigma. Sa maliit o malaking aray, alaksan iparagad. Alagang Unilab yan. into a new adventure with every Happy Meal. Starts at 96 pesos. Budget-friendly meal ba? Magsulit sarap, spicy garlic, baksilog na. Hindi daw kayo marunong magluto. Nako, you're so correct. Pero kaya natin to kasi madali lang po ilulutuin natin ngayon. Let's go! Low heat lang po tayo. Meron tayong mantika dito. I-crack natin siya directly doon sa mantika. Ikot-ikot lang. Nakatin na natin yung oil na natira. Yung garlic, ilagay na po natin. Doon tayo sa bacon natin. Now, we put the bacon doon sa pan. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating Nordic with seasoning chili para patak sa rubs. May may kita kayong uh, orange po dyan. Cheese po yun. At ilagay natin dito sa ating uh, bacon. So, nagbuka na po ba siyang bacon na may cheese sauce dito sa small? Yes. Now, we plate. And finally, Tita Small, kailangan natin ng nor liquid scissoring chili. Wow! Wow! Mm -hmm. It's so really masarap. Hindi ko yung next na ganito kasarap. If you know, you know her. The country's best tasting. Can it get any better? Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Can it get any bigger? Ready ka na ba? Ang Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is na. Ang pinakamasarap, bigger na. Ipagpapalit mo pa ba? Umaapaw sa siya. Karat sumama na. Ito ang Chicken Joy. It's a second best tasting. Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Ito ang Chicken Joy. Yes, best tasting na. Our biggest pie. Chicken Joyous! Best tasting out! Our biggest 
Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. And- this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex, wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiflum, anyway, great, big show for you this week, controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer, then we have a a live phone week up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank Time. Thank you, Day. thank you. But many say your new film has got too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim. The war is over. It's never over. You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you Tards has been running Peruvian Flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got and shot yourself. Way to go. Oh, and you look at He was back. finally beginning to live a normal life. Then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on. Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. That's funny. Even though he's a, he's a guy, you know, you just... He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something. A film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there. And I should have killed them all. Yeah. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye. Right here, right now. Okay. Oh, now, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. 
You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals? No! No! You said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please! I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No! Come on, sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. Yeah, yeah, They're still yeah, big. Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, Mom, Easy. Mommy. Hey, don't grab them like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What, are you a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I. I crap myself. Take it easy, it's not even loaded. You just wonder, what if? Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh! In restaurants. I agree with you about the moon. We never went on the moon. It's such a good fake. Remember, the Russians are arch enemies still, I might add. Them and the Australians and some species of dog, they beat us into space. The only thing the Russians are shooting into space are hot dogs and monkeys. Kind of a Noah's Ark fast food kind of vibe. Hey, my dead aunt could make a better space station than them. Intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, caller, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would we worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military applications. Hello, caller. Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm really worried about hackers putting the nuclear bomb after me. You know, through the phone. Do you think they can pinpoint my location? Look, it's good for the economy to live in constant fear. I mean, the phone company. They have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty City. You're on the line. A cowboy ghost has been haunting my house. I want you to take off your blouse. Stand at the window. WCTR. Foreigners are coming. Who are they? And why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Z. Super Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rise in drugs trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall. Oh, shit! Oh! Well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up, come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking! Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days. Next up on WCTR, the news, we try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forget WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they? And why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing. Your unborn child plus protests. Meet my boy. You meet fascinating people. Feel so comfortable. You rip your clothes off. Oh, for days. Next call. Yeah. Hi. My is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, and depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents. Don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and civilization. Europe is not the real world. Well, I love to slip about the bit of the evil showers as much as the next man. Sometimes more. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Remember that thing you go on and on about travel? You know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up fine families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, rainforest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. 
I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep. Arre! Sorry, lost my signal. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. It's a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it at peace. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel. Get away from it all. Get away from the people with computers and their dated places. The police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture. A few pennies of their local currency and they will fall. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Bidiston, and this has been my travel. This is WCTR. Continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues travel is still severely restricted. Casualties, which is truly unfortunate, as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. CTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Forces believe it is linked to the rising drugs trade, while others blame the fascist pig. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall the governor. Office said everything is okay in Vinewood News. Rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. Thing about Mad Dog is I'm thinking about becoming a superstar. I mean you know, I've done everything I can do in the rap game. I won shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know. Lifetime champ, no shit. Can I say shit? Oh, hey, man, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got shoes. Tires, rims, thinking, you know, next day just being a full-on superstar. No, you get to wear a tight suit and nail a lot of tail you dig. You know what I do in real life. Oughta get me a drink though right now cause I'm thirsty, you know. What a troubled man sounds like he should lay off the sauce also today at Tourette's theater group banned from the park. Unless they take up mine and finally in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right wing. Gorillas causing a major incident, but we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel this was Lee and forget WCTR news. Let's be careful out there. Turn over in case you learn something. The news is next. Leanne, forget WCTR news. Unfair and skewed for you in the top stories. Everyone is trying to kill you. But at least you're not in prison yet. Disgraced movie star Jack Howitzer broke his silence recently following his on-air murder of radio host Billy Dexter facing trial and a possible death sentence. Howitzer spoke to Richard. WCTR would like to be clear. We did pay for this interview. That's right, Leanne. I am Richard Burns here in Los Santos Prison. As we all know, since politicians stopped musicians from coming here about shooting your woman on drugs, everyone is now questioning their sexuality. Jack Howitzer, you're facing a death sentence. How do you feel about that? I broke out of a POW camp in Korea. All right. So... Uh His whole life. <laughs> He lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use Shit. money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bring 
singing okay, expressive jumped. dance and hey, sun man, worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has really... I'll be out of here soon. Correct me if I'm wrong. That was a movie, and it wasn't real. Oh no, it was real. I'm a veteran of over 40 films. The country's best taste in. Can it get any better? Crispy, yes, juicy, yes. Can it get any bigger? Ready, can you buy? I'm Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy is now. I'm in the house. to a new adventure with every Happy Meal. Starts at 96 pesos. Ang maliit na aray, di maliit na bagay. Pag walang tigil ang laban. Pag binaliwala ang aray. Baka lumala at di ka na makasabay. Balik agad sa laban. Alaksan iparagad. May doble galing ng ibuprofen at paracetamol. Diritso sa pinagmula ng sakit. Laban lang mandirigma. Sa maliit o malaking aray, alaksan if aragad. Alagang yun nilabyan. Budget-friendly meal ba? Magsulit sa wrap, spicy garlic, baksilog na. Hindi daw kayo marunong magluto. Nako, you're so correct. Pero kaya natin to kasi madali lang po yung lulutuin natin ngayon. Let's go! Low heat lang po tayo. Meron tayong mantika dito. I-crack natin siya directly doon sa mantika. Ikot-ikot lang. Lahatin na natin yung oil na natira. Yung garlic, ilagay na po natin. Doon tayo sa bacon natin. Now, we put the bacon doon sa pan. Ngayon, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating Nordic Positioning Chili para papatak sa rubs. May may kita kayong uh, orange po dyan. Cheese po yun. At ilagay natin dito sa ating uh, bacon. So, nagbuka na po ba siyang bacon na may cheese sauce dito small? Yes. Now, we plate. And finally, Tita Small, kailangan natin ng nor liquid scissoring chili. Wow! Mmm! It's so really masarap. Hindi ko in-expect na ganito kasarap. If you know, you know. Pasko na! Oras na para mag-magic! Ano man ang handaan, all-in-one ang kailangan. Maggie Magic Sarap. All-in-one sa sangkap. Pampasarap! Ano mang handa ngayong Pasko? Going magical! Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. And this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a venturous man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex, wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Europe was overrated. Hey, Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there, the police are too strict. You just can't let oh, your no. hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on The Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up fine families and run numbers. South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the content of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest. In Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. 
Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't keep honor. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. Had a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome. I can't wait. Thanks, man. Yes, we all love to travel, get away from it all, get away from the people with computers and their databases, the police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself and people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think Look this out. is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Bedeeston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. The news and all the other things. Your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy. My wife and I love your show. It really helps. Aw, oh, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay. Jenny, live from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk. He has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Careful while I'm married. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why, or perhaps not. Brian from Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I don't want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years. Now. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice. I mean, I get away with it all the time now, even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. I mean, the passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, well, I put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless <laughs> Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflam. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movie's Exploder and... Proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Hello? Lisa? Yeah? How you doing, bitch? How do you like living in that house we built to 
just can't be there in person. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. Up next, it's Area 53 and Marvin Trill, broadcasting live from his trailer in the desert. A new planet found in space. Is it really a planet or a decoy put up to confuse us? Ghosts, time travel, and the flushing toilet. Which way did Newton's toilet spot? Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank time you, day. thank you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and Exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No, you suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Cool. Oh, you got and shot yourself. Way to go! Oh, and you look at He was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. That's Flynn, and even though he's a, he's a guy, you know, he just... Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs it's are laughable. a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was... It's time to do something, a film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yep. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. Put the gun down. My balls? Please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. Sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. No. They're still big. Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. right. Yeah. Mom. Easy. Hey, don't grab them like that. Oh, boy. I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, hey, hey. hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, I, I. I I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder what if. Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it. His brain is leaking. Help. Oh, there's only one thing to do. I got to defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? 
It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I got to tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Yeah. Explosion is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. That's right, man. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake oh, shit, continues. Man. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drug trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. A troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in... People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted.